Diddy has been surrounded by homosexual allegations for many years. When he was fired from Uptown Records, he started his own record label, Bad Boy Records, with the help of Clive Davis. Clive Davis, a Jewish music industry executive, was rumored to partake in gay rituals with artists and producers in the music business for them to progress further into the industry. Some have speculated that Diddy was involved in a strange homosexual relationship with Clive. Clive the rotten old lizard had even come out as bisexual after many years. I opened myself up to the possibility that I could have a relationship with a man. Over the years we have seen the demise of Diddy's artist, G. Depp who is serving time in prison for second degree murder, Loon serving time for a drugs conspiracy charge, Shine, Black Rub, Notorious B.I.G., Mace, the list goes on and on. It is evident that there's been so much negativity brought into the lives of his artists. We can see the weird homosexual traits of Diddy being brought into the industry back in 1993 when he was directing the music video for Outkast's song Player's Ball. Diddy asked Andre 3000 that he should appear shirtless in the video to which he obliged. Back when the East Coast West Coast beef was going on, there was a rumoured tape going around that showed Diddy dressed up in women's clothes. The DOC had mentioned in an interview with Hip Hop DX a few years ago that this videotape of Diddy in drag was going around and some people wanted him to watch the tape. In 2009, the rapper Exhibit was being interviewed and began to tell a story where Diddy had taken him to a gay club. Yeah, what happened? Nah, I mean, well, uh, as a single man, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I have no shame in my game with okay. that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's where I was at the time. and We went to um, uh, Florida. We got invited to a, a Puffy party, the New the Year's book. Eve party. Uh -huh. Went to the party, you know. All uh, dudes? Yeah, yeah. Nah, it was actually a good party. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. it, it was at, on South Beach, right? Right. So then we, you know, we go to the house, and then, you know, uh, he, he invited us to the house because he wanted to go to the club afterwards. Right? I was like, right. okay, cool. So, Superhead is with me. You know what I'm saying? Karen, Karen is, is with me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Superhead. Yeah. So, she takes me, she, you know, she, Puffy calls me outside. He's like, hey, man, you know, the um, that, that girl you you know about the girl you were. I was like, yeah, man. Yeah, everybody know about it. You know what I'm saying? What's happening? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like, uh, you know, that's the devil, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what the you mean got, that's the devil? The devil got a pretty mouth. Yeah, and I was like, what <laughs> you mean that's the devil? You know, and then he was like, yeah, man, she, she videotaped you with fingers in the boot. That's a new movie. You know movie. what I'm saying? I was the like, what? The devil sucks like, penis. Hey, yo, what the fuck are you talking oh, about? We're oh, talking oh, about. Oh, we buy, we buy. <laughs> I heard a penis and a finger and a yeah. asteroid. What? She said, he, he, he so called, Puffy tells you he that called, she. She will videotape you with fingers in the booty. Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, you what know does what that saying? mean? Confession. So then, so then I go back in the house and I ask her, what the fuck are you talking about? He, he you said you're a filmer. No, I, I did ask him. He's just like, whatever. He, he went off and did his thing. And I was, was like, he okay. limping? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he walked away and a nail fell out of his boot. No, I'm going to clear this shit up. Because I'm not going to have my name out there crazy I'm like that. that. Go ahead, go ahead. So then, so then, so then, so then he said, so then she said, oh, uh, I told him what she, he told me. And she was like, oh, she started laughing like a mother. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you later. <laughs> so, then, so then I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to make a big deal of it, whatever. So, so then he's, you know, then, then <laughs> I guess he's had some prior incident with her that he don't want nobody to know about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we get into the truck. He said, let's go to this club. So everybody following the, the, the car. The car is fucking silent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we get to this club, and then we walk in the back, the way, back way. It's a VIP lounge. Ain't nobody in there. And then, you know, the club is going. It's all jumping. And then I'm sitting there with, with old girl. So, I, so, so then, so then, so then uh, you know, he, he's dealing his business. We go down and get a drink. You know, we sitting there bopping to the music, and then she say, she point over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Then there's girls in the club, too. And then she point in another direction. It's another dude over there, like, butt-ass naked. Dancing. Bosworth Ben. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
<laughs> we take off, man. You know what I'm saying? We leave the club so directly. Saying, I didn't say peace to nobody. So I didn't see pre-cave. nobody. Yeah, it was it was a suspect. Lot of males, a lot of a lot, lot of exchanges. suspects. The club was you could chalk it up. You could chalk it up to being in Miami or whatever. I never blame it on the. I've been in a gang. I've been in a gang of clubs, man. The club was called. And I ain't I ain't never I ain't never mistakenly stepped into a club having that kind of activity. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. So we took a cab home back to where I was. In 2014, 50 Cent, who is a bitter rival of Diddy, had taken numerous shots at Diddy, Steve Stout and others, and had hinted at some homosexual situation between them. A wannabe comedian called Fat Jew had said back in early 2015 that he accidentally walked into a room at a mansion party where P. Diddy and a group of other men were about to partake in some weird homosexual orgy. This isn't alleged because you it happened no, to No, no, no. There's nothing alleged about this. Okay. It is alleged. <laughs> <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Golf clap, golf clap, golf clap, golf clap. We clap. are comedians. <laughs> All right, we're, go for it. We're so lonely. So, um, <laughs> so I'm fucking goblins. I went to a party on Star Island in Miami. Uh, where P. Diddy has a private residence. I mm-hmm. had no business being there. Mm-hmm. I was with a famed uh, house producer who was DJing the party. Sure. And I will keep his name out of it. Yep. And I took a whole bunch of ecstasy because everyone there was taking ecstasy. It was basically me and like beautiful like ethnic models, mm-hmm. like just beautiful women who I obviously had no interest in. Cause, like, yeah. That's it's a, like, the big pimpin' video. that's not my type. Right. <laughs> we're going to stick to Peppa, please. Yeah, we're going to stick to Peppa, <laughs> Peppa. And, and ghouls from Us Weekly. <laughs> right, right. Um, so I'm, I'm like kind of stumbling around. It's like, you know, it's all like, you know, my man is telling me that like, you know, every third person is some executive, mm-hmm. you know, got behind the scenes guys who I don't recognize. It's a high-end crowd. Very high-end. And okay. there's no joke. There's maybe 100 people. Okay. I mean, it is intimate. It's a serious I have serious no business party. being there. Sure. I'm in like a, you know, like an old Jewish grandmother's windbreaker like <laughs> I am now. <laughs> right. At this right. exact moment. Right. And um, so long story short, I am on ecstasy and I'm trying to find the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And I can't find the bathroom. And, and I just kind of like go down a flight of stairs. And now I'm in like the inner windings of the mansion. Because yeah. most of it's going down by the pool. Okay. You know, cabanas and stuff. Well, dragon's lair. Yeah, get dragon, right. yeah, we're getting serious. So I get lost. <laughs> And I'm in, like, just a maze of rooms. Yeah. Now, I'm looking for the bathroom. I start opening doors. One's, like, a closet. One's a room. It doesn't have a bathroom in it. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Um, every room should have a bathroom in it. That makes sense. First if of all. If you're in this fucking every dungeon. Every room should yeah. have, right. Every house should so have, So I open yeah. a door, and in that room, there are a bunch of men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're all kind of, like, very, like, Romanesque, like, laying about... And, you know, kind of like very like kind of leaning on each other, not really spooning, but like conversationally spooning. Like if you were spooning, but facing each other and like leaning up on your elbow and like, talking. Like how about this? Like in public watching TV with a bunch of your friends and you're with your girlfriends. Right. Yes. It would be like those guys kind of lounging on their girlfriends, but they're not fucking because that no, would be weird they in public. Fucking, right. Like you almost think that they should be feeding each other grapes. Uh-huh. You know, stuff like that. Okay. Like, it was very it was like. Regal lounging. Very erotic. Okay. All right. Heavy erotic. Yeah. Like uh, like the drawings you would see of like old Greek. Yes. Uh, right. hangouts. Exactly. Yeah, or, like a, or like a fat Greek woman like laid on her side. Yeah, it you would know? almost be the prelude to an orgy. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh okay. my god. It was so prelude okay. to an orgy. So explain. So, so I look. So I have. I'm there for a very brief amount of time because I open the door and clearly I'm not supposed to be in there. And I look, and who is lounging in my direct eye line? Puff Daddy hmm. and Felix the House Cat, famed house music producer. Yeah, no, I know are who that is. Basically spooning each other. <laughs> I swear to God, they're basically spooning and they're drinking a glass of Hennessy. And they're, like, sharing it. They're, like, passing it back and forth. And everyone's talking. And everyone's just, like, talking. Yeah. And then as soon as I see them, I'm like... All men, though. There's not one woman in this room. All men. And yeah. they're, all, they're all 100% on ecstasy. Like, you can see Diddy's in, like, white linen being like, oh, my oh, God. Man. Like, rub ice on my nipples. Right. You know, like, <laughs> right. oh, you're one of my best friends. Right. So... The minute I make eye contact with him, like a gigantic bouncer comes over and says, like, get the fuck out. Because a lot of people turned and looked at me because it was very unexpected that it, like a fat guy with an afro, right. with, like no shirt on basically, like a, an open windbreaker, <laughs> right. opened the door to like this like – You are kind of a buzzkill. Definitely. If I'm on ecstasy right, and getting no. ready for a gay like, orgy. Oh, this guy. <laughs> oh, he looks like fucking uh. Juliette Jean Shaladin. <laughs> you know? So – um, but I looked right at Puff Daddy and he looked right at me. Yeah. And we made direct eye contact. And – I got kicked out of the room. Sure. So that was that. Yeah, fast. And obviously so, crazy. Fast crazy. forward. So I was like, P. Diddy's clearly on ecstasy, and he's, yeah. he's clearly gay. Yeah. So fast forward, right? We're at a junket for a movie that he was in. Uh, someone is interviewing him. I'm in the back as a friend of someone who was there. Mm-hmm. I'm all the way in the back. I'm behind a million publicists, a million people. But you see him. 
Well, he's being interviewed on and the couch. And you're thinking about it. Oh, I'm thinking about it the whole time. Yeah. By the way, anyone I ever told the story to was like, oh, you're a liar. I don't think you're a liar. Everybody was like, you're a liar. Like, I'm sure something happened, and they knew I was on Star Island. Like, that was verified yeah. by the other person I was with. Sure. But people were like, you're a liar. You didn't see them sharing a glass of Hennessy. Like, you didn't see Prelude to, like, an orgy. Like, this is bullshit. Like, right. you're being funny. Like, Fat Juice hilarious. Sure. So, um, a couple people said they believe me, but I think they were lying. So, <laughs> um, he looks, he's being interviewed in the middle of the interview for this movie. I mean, I'm sure you can guess what movie it is, because I think he was only in a movie. Right. Um, at least recently. Yes. He literally stops the interview and he points at me all the way in the back and he goes, yo, you, my man. And everyone in the room turns around and looks at me and he goes, where do I know you from? Oh, no. And then I go, Miami. And he goes, oh, true. And we locked eyes again and he knew that I knew that he knew that I knew that he knew that I knew <laughs> that he drinks the milk of other men. Wow. I, this happened. Has anything happened since? No. Nothing. There has been no follow-up. Were now, you nervous at all in like a Breaking Bad kind of way that maybe people were going to be sent to your house or something? Like, a oh, 100%. Because I'd be a little nervous. See, now, what, what I'm doing to combat that yeah. is by talking about it publicly on, on and then you're, podcasts. Yeah, because this will come back. Right, and, yeah. right. Because yeah. I'm most safe if I talk about it publicly. That's so crazy. <laughs> right. Because now people know yeah. that I've got dirt. Yeah. So, like, I need you to hold this podcast No, it's, down. it's archived. Yo, this is going to be some Jason Bourne shit. No, You're I gonna know. You're going to have it on, like, a tiny microfilm, and they're going to be chasing you across what Europe. What a great movie. After these numerous accounts of Diddy's homosexuality, one has to question, why isn't Diddy coming out as gay, or at least bisexual? In this day and age, where the gay agenda is at full throttle, gay marriage is legal, maybe he should take up the offer by the rapper Daylight. Yeah, I fucked Diddy. I'm, I'm not going to front. I, I'd fuck the shit out of Diddy. Get him off with like a, a bottle of Ciroc, like, you know, a shot of Ciroc. You know what I'm saying? He got plenty of Ciroc, like, you know what I'm saying? Get him fucked up. You know, I, I fuck. Like, you know. It seems like it's more of a sinister situation going on. And these homosexual situations stem from homosexual rituals, which are performed in the industry. And many who want to get into the industry would be required to partake in these rituals in some shape or form. We had heard mm -hmm. when someone mentions or alludes to anything about, um, you know, the rumors about Puffy being gay or, or any of that. Does that shock you, or does that, yeah. or is that kind of like a yeah, I can see that? Yeah, yeah, because see, I, I don't have to actually see two men engage in sexual activity to uh -huh. say he's gay because gay is a way of life uh -huh. so i can look at the way you handle your money i can look at the way you treat people i can look at the way that you want it to be all about you so you gotta look at how women are women 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 have a certain characteristic about themselves that man don't have uh -huh. so then you start looking at yo why in the world is you the only rich person and everybody else like why is it so much about you and if you got a, a, a artist that just did three million records whoa and he in the hotel stealing so not I'm only is he a fool, everybody but he doing what he had to do. Yeah. But the thing is, how come, why is your man st stealing? That's not just his fault, it's your fault too. Do you believe the rumors between him and him and Mace? Mm, now that right there. Hold on. Do you believe the rumors between, between him and Mace? Between him and Mace, you know. Well, you gotta, you gotta look at it like this, you know, and, and I say it best like this. Okay. A person like Mace that comes to Puff that wants a record deal automatically is willing to do anything that he got to do to have that deal because he automatically he asked him for a record deal so then you got to look at it and be like you know what you willing to sell your soul for this for this shit right here and if you're willing to sell your soul you won't do anything you're willing to do damn anything. you mark so, curry like for example please <laughs> they might say hey you know what i'm gonna give you a million dollars i'm gonna give you two million i'm gonna give you a hundred million but before i do that i just want to take a couple of pictures with you with your shirt off and your pants off too. And then you be like $100 million, or or shirt and no <laughs> pants. Okay, that's okay. what they be doing. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So then now, here go your 100 million. So then now you sitting there with your girl. She got the diamonds and the fur on, she look good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So all of a sudden you see somebody in the background flashing those pictures in that envelope at you like this, telling you to come in. We need to talk to you. You'd be like, wow, now you got me by the balls. Yes. 
You understand? Yeah. So then that's when a lot of things come in to play too, without me having to speak on other things. Mm -hmm. When somebody come to you and say, you know, I'm exposed to your people, everything that you've done to get this money, you'd be like, yo, man, that'd make you kill yourself. Some are even blackmailed into doing certain things in the industry. For example, blackmailed into putting out certain music, videos and signing bad contracts.